Good morning, my dearest friends. Again, this is Rose Domingo, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This morning, I'd like to share about this topic I have read. It's all about the best sleeping positions for a good night's sleep. Sa mga tumatanda, kagaya ko, parang normal na yung masyadong nakakatulog, mahirap matulog. And so, I kept on researching anong pwedeng gawin. So, I have here a new article that I have read. Okay, listen to this one. Sabi dito, let's face it, sleep is a big part of our lives even if we're not getting eight hours but there's more to it than you might think your sleeping position plays a big role in your sleep quality which means it might be time for you to switch it up different sleeping positions have different benefits if you're experiencing pain or other health conditions you might need to switch your position in order to help manage it. And while it might not be something you can do in one night, changing your default sleep position can definitely be worth trying out. Taking time to gradually train yourself to sleep in a new position could be the secret to improving your sleep quality. However, if that's something you aren't comfortable with, don't stress about it. You can also try modifying your favorite sleeping position to make sure you're getting the most out of it. Fetal position. Fetal position involves sleeping on your side with bent legs curled in toward your body. It's the most popular sleeping position and for good reason. Not only it is great for lower back pain or pregnancy, but sleeping in the fetal position can also help reduce snoring. Still, sleeping in the fetal position does have a few downsides. Make sure your position is relatively loose, otherwise your comfy position don't limit deep breathing while you snooze. Also, if you have any issues with joint pain or stiffness, sleeping in a tight fatal position might leave you sore in the morning. Sleeping tips If you want to make the fatal position more comfortable, make sure your posture is loose and relaxed when you curl up. Keep your legs relatively extended. You can even try sleeping with a pillow between your knees. Sleeping on your side. Side sleeping is similar to sleeping in the fetal position, but your legs aren't pulled in towards your body. Like the fetal position, sleeping on your side is pretty good for you. In addition to reducing snoring, it's great for digestion and may even reduce heartburn. Despite these benefits, sleeping on your side might not always be the best. Not only can it cause stiffness in your shoulders, but it can also lead to jaw stiffness on that side. Putting a pillow between your lower legs will help better align your hips to avoid low back pain. Is there a better side to sleep on? Well, depending on your health, there may be some benefits to sleeping on your left side over your right. A small 
older study looked at 10 people over the course of two days. The first day, participants rested on their right side after eating a high-fat meal. On the second, they switched to the left side. Researchers found that the right side was associated with increased heartburn and acid reflux, so sleeping on the left side might be more beneficial. Sleeping on your left side may also be useful for encouraging regular bowel movements. Your small intestine moves waste to your large intestine through something called the ileocecal valve found in the lower right abdomen. Sleeping on your left side could potentially allow gravity to help with the process of moving waste through your ileocecal valve. Sleeping tip. If you prefer sleeping on your side, choose a good pillow to avoid neck and back pain. Sleep on whichever your side feels most comfortable, but don't be afraid to switch to a different position if it's not working for you. Lying on your stomach. If you had to rock sleeping positions, lying on your stomach might be at the bottom of the list. While it's good while it's a good position for snoring or self apnea, the benefits don't extend much further. Unfortunately, sleeping on your stomach can cause both neck and back pain. It can also add a lot of unnecessary strain to your muscles and joints, which is why you might be waking up sore and tired. Placing a pillow under your lower belly might help reduce back pain. Sleeping tip to make sleeping on your stomach more comfortable, try sleeping with a thin head pillow or no pillow or no pillow to reduce added stress on your neck. You can also try sleeping a pillow under your pelvis to reduce lower back pain. Flat on your back. Sleeping on your back offers the most health benefits. It protects your spine and it can also help relieve hip and knee pain. Sleeping on your back uses gravity to keep your body in an even alignment over your spine. This can help reduce any unnecessary pressure on your back or joints. A pillow behind your knees may help support the natural curve of the back. Plus, if you're worried about keeping your skin looking fresh, sleeping in your back protects the skin on your face from wrinkling. On the flip side, sleeping on your back can be difficult can be difficult for those who experience snoring or sleep apnea. It can also be difficult to anyone with back pain, which is why it's important to make sure you're properly supported. Sleeping tip If you sleep on your back, try sleeping with a pillow behind your knees to reduce back pain and relieve pressure on your spine. If you're congested, you can also prop yourself up with an extra pillow to make bathing easier. Find your best sleeping position for you. So how do you figure out which sleeping position is best for you? There is no one size fits all approach. So you'll need to experiment with a few positions to find one that's both comfortable and leaves you feeling well rested and pain free when you wake up in the morning. The takeaway. Your sleeping position matters more than you might think. Try keeping a sleep diary for a week or two to help you figure out the best sleep scenario for your needs. You can keep track of any patterns in your sleep habits and sleep quality so you can get a better look at what's working 
versus what is it? Remember, you don't have to change your sleeping position if you aren't having any issues. Do what feels best for you. The most important thing is to make sure you're waking up feeling rested and ready to go. So, I hope I have uh, helped a little because I myself is looking for the best position, the best sleeping position. And now, uh, my position in sleeping is sleeping on my left side because I have acid reflux and I can sleep better than before. So thank you so much for watching. God bless. Stay safe and keep smiling. Bye.